Okay. Now we're going to put the shadow meter back on. Now the tangs broke off the bottom of the shadow meter. I think all of them but one. So it's not going to hold together the way it used to. We're going to have to augment that. You can see, just this front one survived. gave out at the last moment there as I was pushing it down. So it's held on with one tang. I still have a problem with the front screen here being probably uh, too dark. But we can change that even with this mounted and completely connected. You know what I didn't do? I, I didn't apply a current and see, hey, whoa, 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 back up, back up. We're ahead of ourselves here. Back up. Everybody back up. I gotta apply a current to this and see if it, uh, see if it makes the little vein move. Okay, let's check this out. Now I saw this done with a nine volt battery, so let's let's try that very quickly. Because we may have a weak magnet we got to deal with next. It's kind of like there's no end to it with this little guy. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah. There is a bit of a directionality to this thing, too. It doesn't move very far. So, we could assume that magnet has lost its oomph. Let's check that. Let me get a... Uh, Very, there's a little bit of magnetism there. Now I need a nice, strong magnet. Okay, how strong is that? That's pretty strong. And I gotta magnetize this thing now for crying out loud. Which, how do you do that? Which way do you stroke it? And this magnet might pull that, look at that. <laughs> pull that thing right off its... And then how do you tell if you got this thing stronger as a magnet? Holy smokes. So I'm feeling the strength there getting used to what it is. How do you figure out north from south? Whoa. Hmm. 
<laughs> what I'm thinking is if I stroke this the wrong way, I'm going to magnetize it in the wrong direction, and it may end up with just a weaker magnet. If I knew which was north and which was south, I guess you would draw the north end of the bar magnet from the south end of the magnet around to the north. Does that make sense? That make more sense to do it the other way. Ah. I've been thinking about this, you know, and I knew this moment would come. Well, all I can do is just try it. So I'm going to use this end, stroke down this side, flip it over, stroke up that side, and we'll see what happens here. Oh, I can't even, it's pushing the vein. This will be where the vein gets broken if I'm not careful. This side's much stronger. How much of this you got to do? Like ten strokes or ten thousand strokes? So many questions, so few answers. Back over to the other side. Keep in mind which ends which on this bar. I will place this bar this way. Remember, this ends this side, this ends this side. Didn't seem to make any difference. If anything, it's weaker. Phooey. Okay, let's... There it is. I almost broke the vein off just there. This is not going well. And some super strong magnets, but they're so strong, I think they'd rip that vein right off if I got them close. Even this magnet's got me worried. down carefully again. Oh, that's a lot stronger. Okay, let's do some more of that. We just have to make everything black here.
Okay, the other one. Nothing to write home about. Let's put a little bit of power into it again. Let's see what we get. Yeah, it's not too exciting. Could be the amount of current I'm feeding from this 9 volt battery is insufficient. Nine volts. Oh, maybe the drop over that was much, much bigger. A tiny current here of I can barely measure it. How come? It's a tiny current of I can barely measure it. I got a nine volt battery measuring twelve volts. What's going on there? What the heck? My, uh, my voltmeter is going cockeyed because the, the battery is getting low. That can't be. Mysteries abound. I say let's carry on because I don't know what the uh, circuit voltage is, but I'll have to keep in mind that we may have to go through this magnetizing thing again, so I'm not going to mount this thing really permanently. You know what I mean? Not even mount it now. I may just try to wire it in and see what happens. Hmm. This is the complaint. I got a hot guy on that vein because it's so likely to get damaged during this procedure. Assumably, if a material can hold its magnetism, it's not easy to magnetize either. I mean, that's part of the deal here.
Uh oh. No, oh, no. I think I've done it. I think we're finished. Yeah. The centering spring on that is gone now. I'm going to break down and cry all this work. Okay, I think we're done. Breaking out in a sweat. How do you like that? Heartbreaker. I think that's the end of it. I'll post up these videos and hear what people have to say. Uh, but I'm very, very discouraged at this point that uh, I've ruined the vein spring. And uh, that's a sad day. But we'll see what people have to say. Maybe maybe there's some kind of solution to this too.